Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Celia Maraconda and I am 18 years old. I live in Connecticut and I decided to create a YouTube channel. Today I decided to film a um, everyday makeup routine. This is definitely a look that I wouldn't do every single day. I don't wear makeup every day, but um, it's very simple, easy, natural, and you know, I hope you guys like it. So be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Um, comment something, uh, comment whatever, I don't know. Comment um, what, maybe what uh, video I should do next or, you know, just what you think of it. So, all right, let's get into it. <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to moisturize my skin and I'm going to use the Garnier Skin Active Soothing Moisturizer and it has rose water in it, which I really like. I normally do my eyes first, so since this is a natural look, I'm going to just do like, so here I have the... Um, Tartiste Pro Palette, and I'm going to use, let's see, I'm gonna use the, the shade Innocent, and it's just like a light brown, and I'm just gonna put that on my lids. I'm going to use, um, I'm gonna mix Innocent and Whimsy. And then I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna like that up a little, and then I'm gonna put that in the corner. The crease, I guess you would call it. Very natural eyes because it's an everyday look. And then I'm going to do my like face makeup. I do not like to have a thick layer of foundation. I've never really liked foundation. But what I love is the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. And it also has sunscreen, which is really important. And this is just like a tinted moisturizer, but for me, it's still a little bit too, I don't know. Like, I don't like the look of that you're wearing foundation. So I mix a, a little bit of that with this um, moisturizer from Neutrogena. And it's like an oil-free moisturizer. Then I just take this brush from It Cosmetics. It's my grandma's. <laughs> and then I just rub it like that. And then I'm just going to, like, put it on my skin and rub that in. I feel like that looks decent enough. Okay. Then I'm gonna set that with some powder. I use, for the longest time, I've used the L'Oreal Paris um, translucent setting powder. It looks like this and it's really good. And I just use the same brush, honestly. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't really matter how much. And then I literally just put it on the places that I get oily, like under my eyes. Chin and forehead. I get a lot of oil on my forehead. And then I kind of just pat this all in. I still have a lot on my face, but... For my bronzer, I'm using the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. I don't know what shade it is. Mm, does it say it anywhere? Nope, but it just, it's, I really need a new one, but I just do it on 
in the usual spots. I always have to get my forehead. Really love my bronzer. Okay, then I'm going to do my brows for this. I t I've been tinting my eyebrows. So for this look, I'm just going to brush them. Yeah. And then um, here I don't have hair, so I put the tinting stuff there, but I kind of just want to make everything blend together. So I'm going to use this um, eyebrow gel by Glossier. Um, it's the boy brow and it's just, it's color is brown. feel like I do like one's darker than the other like this looks so much darker than that but it is what okay good enough then I'm going to do some blush I'm gonna use the I'm gonna mix two I'm gonna use the Maybelline cheek heat and it's kind of like a dupe for the Glossier cloud paint I've had that before and I really like it but I don't really know where it went, so I didn't want to buy a new one, so I was at um, CBS and I was trying to get a new mascara, and I saw this, and I was just like, okay, I'll get it. I'm not really good at applying um, cheek stains and stuff, but because you have to like work with them really quick or else they're gonna like stain and i also like to put some like of the excess on my nose so it looks like i went in the sun then i'm going to do um my other um blush it's like a blush slash highlight it's by laura geller and it looks like that it's really pretty it has a little like scratch in it but it's very pretty and i'm just gonna put that all over where I put the um, cheeky and a little bit on my forehead. Okay, then I'm going to do my, oh, I'm gonna do the bottom of my eyes because I wanted to wait till I did my face makeup for that. So for this, I'm going to use, mm, a lot of my makeup is at college. So I don't necessarily have the right um, like brushes and stuff I want to use and other kind of makeup that I normally use. But I'm going to use this brush. I don't know where it's from. My mom got me it for uh, Christmas. But I'm going to just use Whimsy again, this shade. And I'm just going to put this on the Just because I want it to pop a little bit. I always, whenever I go out, like at school or anything, I'll put some of the, pro, uh, the eyeshadow on my lower lash line. Just because it makes your eyes like, like on the smoke out, like you could do this with like a, like a black or a, I don't know, like a shimmery color. I just like how it makes your eyes pop. Did I just mess that up? Okay. No. Where's the blow dryer? <laughs> okay. So, can you go get the blow dryer? <laughs> I'm gonna have my sister go get the blow dryer. So I've been doing the this trick with my eyelashes for the longest time, and it really helps them look like super long. So, I have a, my favorite mascara is the Bad Gal Bang or any of the Benefit, um, thank you, any of the Benefit um, products. Um, but since I'm home in quarantine, I don't have any of my stuff from college, I have to use like whatever I have at my house. And so I have the Maybelline Lash, Lash, Lash Sensational 
mascara and I love this for like a drugstore um mascara so the first thing I do so the first thing I do is um where's my lash thingy oh right here okay can you plug this in for me Liz I'm gonna just regularly curl my lashes and then And then I'm gonna apply the first, ah, the first coat of mascara. Once I have the first coat on, I'm gonna take my hair dryer, put it in a cool setting. That just smudge that a little bit, but I'll clean that up. So it's a cool setting, and you're gonna literally just like blow your lashes up. Why isn't it going? Oh, it's off. Okay. And try to close your eye. Try to close your eyes so it kind of like curls up naturally. Then you're gonna take the second coat and put it on. Okay. And then keep it in your hand and oops, keep it in your hand and use your blow dryer while you like just watch. <laughs> and it is going to get messy. Like, look at that. But you can just clean it with a Q-tip after. Okay. One more. I mean, you can do this as many times as you like. It's literally like just your preference. Then I'm going to just. Okay. Since it's like an everyday look, I don't want to go too extreme, but basically you could tell these lashes are a lot more full and voluminous than these. Obviously these have nothing on them, but they are curled. So yes, that is how I do my mascara. And I'm just gonna do the other eye really quick and then I'm gonna do some bottom mascara. Okay, so the top lashes are done and I'm actually gonna go back and add a little bit more of eyeshadow under um, my eyes again. I'm gonna use whimsy like I did before and just clean that up kind of. And it's probably gonna look like a little thicker too. I also have some mascara that I need to clean up. Then I'm going to add some of the mascara to my bottom lashes. I'm gonna just do a very, very light coat. I've just always been putting mascara on my bottom lashes for the longest time. I think it makes your eyes look open more, it makes them look bigger, but for an everyday look, I like to do it very, very, na very naturally. Then, finally, some lips. So, I went to um, Ulta and I just got um, a NYX liner, which I really like. So then, normally I'll put like a, um, li uh, like a lipstick, like my favorite one is, right now is, uh, by Clinique. It's the, it's the color blush. I love that one, but I've been really into just doing a liner and then putting some like Vaseline or aquifer on my lips. It just makes them look like glossy because that is a matte um, lipstick. Oops, okay. And then to finish off the look, I'm just gonna use my Mary Badescu facial spray. All right, and that is the completed look.